I'm making linguine with shrimp scampi. It's a great summer. It's a great summer. It's a great summer. I add oil to the pasta pot so that the pasta doesn't stick together. So that the pasta doesn't stick together. So that the pasta doesn't stick together. And salt for flavor. Okay, that's going to cook for according to the directions on the package. Okay, that's three tablespoons of olive oil. And about three tablespoons of butter. I do the olive oil because it has a high burning temperature and the butter because it has lots of flavor. I know this looks like a lot, but it's the sauce for the entire dish. And about one and a half tablespoons of garlic. With, with garlic. With garlic, you really don't want to cook it too long, so just about a minute. There's nothing worse than the flavor of burnt garlic. And so one minute while I get everything else ready. So the first thing is shrimp. And what I buy is peeled and deveined shrimp from the fish store. If you can't buy it, you can always peel and devein it yourself. I'm going to add a pound of shrimp and just cook it for a very short time, like three to five minutes, three to five minutes, three to five minutes. That's, that's, that's. And all that flavor of the garlic is going to get into the shrimp. So first thing I'm going to do is salt and pepper the shrimp. I want it to have lots of flavor because when you add the pasta, the sauce has to flavor the pasta also. Because when you add the pasta, the sauce is when you add the pasta, it's going to be really strongly flavored. Just turn the shrimp so they cook evenly on both sides. It smells so good, all that garlic and butter and oil. How bad can that be? Michael's so great with flowers. I can't wait to see what he's doing at the table. I hope I like it. So, 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 so. Just drain from the drain the water from it, and then it's going to go right into that pan with the shrimp and the garlic, and with the shrimp and the garlic, with the shrimp, butter and oil. It's going to absorb all that great flavor. Okay, just like that. Two spoons. Just toss it all together. This is actually a great way to make any pasta. Italians do it. Even when you're making pasta with tomato sauce, tomato sauce, tomato sauce, is you cook the pasta and the sauce together for the last few minutes, and it really absorbs the flavor. Okay, and then the last ingredient, so lemon zest, lemon juice, I like a little bit of heat. So just a sprinkling of red pepper flakes. Together. And then I have two more things to put in. Parsley. Okay, right on. Okay, right on. Okay, right on top. And then because I want you to know, you can't really see the lemon, but I want you to know it's lemon. What I do is a few thin slices of lemon. People aren't gonna eat them, but they'll they'll see that it's lemon. So I'm gonna add a few slices of lemon to the whole thing. Before I 